Once more, Cesario, get thee to yon same sovereign cruelty. Tell her, my love, more noble than the world prizes not quantity of dirty lands. The parts that fortune hath bestowed upon her, tell her I hold as giddily as fortune. But tis that miracle and queen of gems that nature pranks her in attracts my soul. But if she cannot love you, sir. I cannot be so answered. Sooth, but you must. <laughs> Say that some lady, as perhaps there is, hath for your love as great a pang of heart as you have for Olivia. You cannot love her, you tell her so. Must she not then be answered? There is no woman's side can bide the beating of so strong a passion as love doth give my heart. No woman's heart so big to hold so much. They lack retention. <laughs> Alas, their love may be called appetite. No motion of the liver but the palate that suffers surfeit, cloyment and revolt. But mine is all as hungry as the sea and can digest as much. Make no compare between that love a woman can bear me and that I owe Olivia. Aye, but I know. What dost thou know? Too well what love women to men may owe. In faith they are as true of heart as we. My father had a daughter loved a man. As it might be, perhaps, were I a woman, I should your lordship and what's her history? A blank, my lord. She never told her love. But let concealment, like a worm in the bud, feed on her damask cheek. She pined in thought, and with a green and yellow melancholy, she sat like patience on a monument, smiling at grief. Was not this love indeed? We men may say more, swear more, but indeed, our shows are more than will. For still we prove much in our vows, but little in our love. But died thy sister of her love, my boy. I am all the daughters of my father's house. And all the brothers too. And yet, I know not. Sir, shall I to this lady? Aye. That's the theme. To her in haste. Give her this jewel, say. My love can give no place. Bide no denay. <laughs> 